So I was wondering, by the way, hello there and welcome back to most like another video. How much benefit does Harley with Crown get out of some additional crit damage? F your class Funderman, she's only 4 stars, so she's gonna give me only 70% crit damage increase. So that's going to be very important indeed. Hopefully. But yeah, let's get into the fight and see how it goes. As far as I remember, this boss did not reflect stuns. Hopefully. Then that would be a little bit of a problem. The saving up for Harley super move. Perfect. We need to save up some power. Refound, let's go. I'm gonna go for full combo even though uh, the last hit is off this time. Because that pretty much guarantees that every single time we will be in the uh, required range of combo to actually get the chance to get power refound. The damage is not terrible, but it doesn't look like we're gonna one shot here. The same old problem with dot damage being all over the place. Hitting values as high as 4 mil and as low as 500k. But we might actually kill her. We'll see. Because we got very good luck so far. On the power he found especially. I'm only gonna do the last swipe if I feel like I'm doing bad on power. Because if not, it's a waste of time. Also, this swipe has a long animation, so it actually matters a lot. Yeah, we're gonna kill her, actually. We're gonna easily kill her. This looks like so much less trouble also than if I was to use the Tana. We're gonna easily kill her with a lot of time left. This is, this is pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Keep in mind, high level passive stats from artifacts. Also, we lost the... Um... Well, we didn't die. Funny thing is, I put a bit more defense on Harley. For this fight specifically, because I wanted to take more benefit out of Wonder Woman's buff. And with all that extra defense, we would pretty much be guaranteed dead here. So yeah, it all worked out. And one more sign and she's gonna be over with. There we go. Not the easiest one shot because we almost died, but you, you get the point. And with all that defense for the better plastic Wonderman synergy, we wouldn't have had the damage and we wouldn't have survived. So, good decision making there. Okay, so since the League of Anarchy fight went so well, I think I'm actually gonna go all out and uh, pretty much do the absolute best I can with every single team and make a video like my top 6 all right teams. Or something like that. I'm gonna start off by Zetana Raven here. Unless something goes terribly wrong, we're gonna have the damage here. Again, level 7 and level 10 God Killer for passive stats and Beta Club on uh, Raven. We're doing very well with Zatanna so far, even got the 3rd special. That was, <laughs> Let run its I was not putting an accent to percentage hull damage in this fight, but hey, I'm not gonna say no to it. Okay. Even get your ass in there and start demolishing her. Again, I can't really see the darkness stacks, unfortunately. I think it's all of them. Let's do one more for good measure. Super move as well. Doesn't matter if we do it. Oh, my bad. This 
Is Supreme doesn't matter if it's on high combo or not. Even though it does a decent amount of damage, we're mainly doing it because it increases our damage a lot. It has like a second synergy that increases your damage or your attack, either one of them, depending on how many darkness stacks are on the enemy. Yeah, it's gonna be over in no time. Okay, I, I think somebody's gotta die. Zutanum? Please? Why am I doing this? Why am I letting one character die? Because the game will most likely be like, Oh, you did a lot of damage! Are you hacking my dude? No, I'm not hacking. Sometimes the game needs a little bit of a reminder. So look, my characters can die. They are mortals, okay? Okay, and we're also past one minute left, so we should be good. Hopefully. Please. I'm begging you. No unusual gameplay. Yes. All good in this regard. So far, so good, boys. Okay, so here we're using Batman Drown. I actually have Dark Metal cards on her. Now, Crown would do more damage, obviously. But this man is gonna get enraged whenever I use a special against him. And Crown would kind of force me into using specials against him. So how about we just never hit this man with a special? Except for the super move, of course. The good thing about Batman the Drowns is that I don't even have to read uh, boss descriptions. Because there's no bosses in soul rates that are immune to hazard dot damage. Not sure if they added some in Rule of Conduct soul rates. It's not paying too much attention, but in the older soul rates at the very least, there's not such thing as that. But whether or not they will add it, because they have already started to uh, add it in uh, League rates. But they can't go back to it. So Baton Drones is just gonna straight up destroy everything. With absolutely nothing that any of the bosses can do in the older soul rates. Still got the unblockable because I use super move, but it's fine. And again, even though he's got unblockable and special, it's not that bad because he still has to do like the required three hits against the target before he can feel comfortable to use a special, because that's how the AI works. So Brown wouldn't have been too much of a detriment, but hey, let's use Dark Mall cards too. That's 32 mil damage per second. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Something that just came to mind is that I can go back on the secondary account build and on this build as well and remove the additional threat damage. Because when you don't have a max level Dark Metal cards, it still unlocks the cap at 500%, so you can add some additional threat damage, right? To kind of mimic having the level 10 Dark Metal cards in a way. But since I'm not using Dark Metal cards on her for the most part, on either of the accounts, except for some very specific situation, I could take that away and put it to some more useful stuff, like making sure she doesn't die. Which happens a lot, especially on the secondary account. Is this the last activation? He might be dead, he might be. Yeah, I think he's dead, he's 100% dead. In this activation of the passive. Yeah, there we go! Goodbye, Bane. You, you tried. I mean, you, you didn't really, but still. Garbage rewards yet again. Okay, so this team looks weird, but hear me out. Hear me out, okay? So we got um, Black, Adam. Black Adam doing his percentage shell damage real fast. We got Ben Flaps also doing his percentage shell damage reasonably fast. And both of them inflict some negative effects on the opponent that will put us into um, Puppet of Zatanna zone real fast. Obviously, it would be more optimal to use Zatanna instead of Venom Flaps, but say Zatanna's not available. She's been used in the previous fights. We're done here. Okay, chill. I, wa I want to do some damage to you, so let, let me allow me, please. We have hope to get all the percentage hull damage of Batman to laugh south the first transformation. But as much as we get, we'll pretty much have to do because I got our plans. Okay.
Come on, King. Bro, all you had to do was trigger the puppet on that special. All you had to do was that thing alone. And you messed it up. And we had the infinite power for one second and lost it. Okay, this is not going according to plan. Might as well repeat the steps here. Also get some of the percentage hull damage that this man failed to inflict. Okay, I think we got it. Please don't lose it, please. There we go, I think we could have gotten it the first time if I also took the time to disable an ability using Black Adam. Please don't lose it. Come on, King, you can do it. Keep pushing him to a corner. No! How? Oh, oh. Bro! Being real cringe. And that didn't trigger it somehow. Oh boy. Come on. It's quite easy to get back into it with this team once you lose it. But at the same time we got kind of unlocked in this fight, I think. Again, the, the goal is 1.4 mil, because it's be if it's below 1.4 mil, Destro could have done it alone. Uh, okay, right on the goal. It's fine. It's fine. Reasonable result. All right, remember I said that we're gonna we're gonna do maybe a top teams video. Well, something went wrong along the lines. This is almost the last fight. We we messed up once. Okay, so Beta Club Mr. Freeze would 1000% kill this, but we're not doing that. We're doing Puppet of Zatanna Mr. Freeze because I think that also will be enough to kill here. My bad, though, doesn't matter. We're just generating power at the start. We need to get the uh, Red Fist Super move out of the way. And the Mr. Free Super move, because once we trigger Puppet, that's um, that gonna allow us to stack Mr. Freeze passive any longer. Let's do the third special here. It's two super moves off are still not enough to stack it. And we're gonna get pretty much instantly into infinite power. Tag Vixen in. Also generating some power on the tag in. Okay, super move. Perfect, we're gonna be at max X. Ah, he's annoying. Don't do that. Don't back up into a jump attack. That's kind of rude. Come on, freeze. Thank you. Uh, infinite power, please. There we go. Now we start to stack up some damage. per special two is not too bad and also the dot values are not something to ignore either oh the, the damage is getting higher i saw six mil at some points 
Again, you're gonna basically have the ability to stack infinite uh, damage against target debuffs on the enemy, but at the same time they will expire as time goes on, so in theory it's limitless, in practice it's limited by your luck and the base duration of it. Bro, come on, we need to pick up the pace a bit, like he's not, he's not really dying and stuff, he's taking a decent amount of damage, but we want him dead, right? Yeah, we might actually not kill this. I might have been a bit too confident in Puppet of Zatanna capabilities. All the way up to 6.7, I think we got this. Unless he breaks the freeze with the jump attack or something and we have to freeze him again and that way we lose a lot of time. I think we got this. It's gonna be a close one, but we got this. Also keep in mind it's only a 3 star Mr. Freeze, you're gonna get so, so much better performance out of a higher star rating Mr. Freeze, cause everything scales with that. Ah, eh, we might not kill. I don't think we'll kill it. I don't think it's even gonna be a close one. Yeah, not even gonna be a close one. Oh rip, that's as far as my Mr. Freeze goes. Sadly. He did a reasonable job. But not, not enough. Just not enough. 143 is not too bad, my dude, but... Mm. Also, Beta Club would have guaranteed you one shot here, but oh well. Also, thanks so much for watching. Like if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!